When you recline in your office chair, do you look like this guy? In this video, we're gonna show you how to go from this to this. So the first one we're gonna look at is going to be the swivel tilt, center tilt option, which is gonna be your entry level into the world of reclining in an office chair, found on your lowest priced options, a lot of gaming chairs. We've got the office essentials here from Target. I believe this chair was 80 bucks, really low price. So you're going to get really basic functionality out of this. And we're gonna look at two things when focusing on swivel tilt, the first being the angle between the back and the seat, you'll notice that when I recline, the angle remains the same, it's constant, that L-shaped pattern. And the next thing that I wanna look at is where we're actually pivoting from. You'll notice that when I recline, the pivot point is directly under me at the post. And this kind of develops two problems when you're sitting in the chair. The first is that it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to recline than other mechanisms because of that pivot point and because you do not have weight behind the cylinder, it can be a little bit more difficult just to recline than some other options. And you'll also notice, like you saw at the intro, with Robert banging his knees, that when you use a swivel tilt chair, your knees do come up, your feet come off the ground, and sometimes this can be very exaggerated with your feet coming all the way off the ground, and this is just not good for ergonomics. The next recline we're gonna look at is going to be the next step up in terms of quality on the spectrum of tilting in your office chairs, and that's gonna be knee tilt. Now, this is gonna be similar to swivel tilt in the aspect that the seat and the back do remain at a constant angle. We've got the Secret Lab Titan here to demonstrate that. The Titan's not a great example of this because it does have independent back angle, but most chairs don't, and this does have a knee tilt. So just imagine that this back is fixed all the time. So you're gonna have that constant L. The one difference between the knee tilt and the swivel tilt, the major differentiating factor is where you recline from and the pivot point. So you'll notice that when I tilt back, the pivot point is no longer right underneath me, like the swivel tilt or center tilt, it's moved further up. And so this puts more weight behind the pivot point, which makes it easier to recline. It's much more natural, more of a sinking feeling. And it also keeps your legs in a better ergonomic position as compared to swivel tilt. So we do see these chairs in a lot of applications like boardrooms, conference rooms, executive offices, gaming chairs where you're relaxing a lot because it is easier to recline, more comfortable than the swivel tilt. Next up, we've got synchro tilt, and this is gonna be the most popular mechanism that we see on most ergonomic office chairs, ranging in price from as low as $200 all the way up to very expensive models that are well over $1,000. Now, the reason that this is the go-to choice for most ergonomic chairs is because it provides a good recline option while also keeping you in the most ergonomic position. And the biggest difference between this chair and the way that it reclines, we've got the Nightingale CXO here, and the two previous chairs, is that the back and the seat do not remain at the same angle when I recline. This is usually at a two to one ratio in favor at the back. So if I recline two inches in the back, the seat will adjust one inch up. So you'll see that when I recline, my seat does not come all the way up, even though my back is going all the way back. And what this does is it makes it nice and easy for you to recline and relax at your desk, work in multiple different positions without keeping your knees up and while keeping your arms in a nice ergonomic position here. Multifunction mechanisms are another popular way to give your office chair recline, and we've got the Neutral Posture XSM as an example here. Looks small, and that's because it's specifically made for short and petite people, but it's a great example, so we're gonna use it regardless. Now, one thing to note on a multifunction mechanism is that the recline function itself will be identical to a swivel tilt or center tilt, meaning that when you recline, it's gonna recline at a pivot point directly underneath your seat, which does introduce the problems of bringing your knees up and making it a little bit more difficult to recline. So this isn't the best option for those of you that like to be in constant motion in your chair. What this is amazing for is for those of you that like to sit in awkward positions, maybe heavy tasking applications, because this chair allows you to adjust the seat and the back independently of each other and also has forward seat tilt. So you'll notice that when I unlock the back, I can move it in any position and I can lock it in any position here. So you have the full range to choose where you want your back and then you can also adjust the seat independently and you can also, with this knob, like on most multifunction chairs, turn it and it will give you a forward seat tilt application, which just means that the seat is angled downward, which is really good for those really high intensive tasking applications. And the last type of chair recline we're gonna look at today is going to be weight sensitive, sometimes called mechanism free recline. I've got a couple examples here, the Office Master OM5 and the Herman Miller Cosm. So the way that these chairs function is that they do not have knobs, levers, tension controls, locking mechanisms. The 
idea is that they want someone to be able to sit down in the chair that's never used the chair and just be able to begin using the chair without knowing how to use it. So the way that it functions is that you can just recline however you want and the chair is designed to adapt to your height, your weight, how you use the chair and give you support through whatever recline range that you're in. So you'll see in the OM5, it kind of puts me more in this neutral position, not a great rocking motion, which is something that I do want to touch on because the way that you do recline in the chair is not going to be consistent from one weight sensitive mechanism to the next. And I'll show you that with the Cosm here. You'll see that when I recline in this chair, it's a much different experience, much more like a knee tilt type of recline where my butt is sinking down, much easier to recline in as compared to the more ergonomic style of the OM5. So a drawback to this system is also not having any knobs or levers. They're definitely much easier to use, but you're really not able to dial in any of those specific adjustments, which is a problem for some people we found on the OM5 because the recline is a little bit loose and not being able to tighten that can be a problem for some. So it's definitely something to think about with the weight sensitive mechs. If you're looking for more tips on being comfortable in your office chair, check out this video.